Shailendra. Shailendra, are you able to hear me? Yes, sir. Smitha. Smitha, not yet joined. Okay, let us hold on for a couple of minutes. Hi, Mulugan, Smita here. Yes, hi, madam. Prashant, Nidha, Sailendra, Kaisa, Nathet, Sambhai. Okay, Nathet. Okay, no problem. Well, what up you are recording? So yesterday we got in the basics of exchange process, exchange concept. What is the process? Everything we got in. Today we will see how to do the same thing in the system. The steps for exchanges <coughs> link customer master. Sales contract. I think it will be the same step. Yeah. Sales contract. Purchase contract. Sales agreement. Not sales agreement. It is exchange agreement. Hello, sir. This is Faisal. Yes, yes, Faisal. I will make you organizer. Yes, sir. Please. Thank you. process purchase process netting settlement 
These are the broad steps in doing exchanges. This is the same thing we discussed yesterday. So as for master data, we need to create the customer master and the vendor master, link it. Then we can create sales contract, purchase contract and create an exchange agreement. Then the steps, uh, the normal process will take care. You will do the sales process or purchase process. If you are taking the product from other oil company, you will do purchase process. If you are supplying the product to other oil company customer, then you will do the sales process. At the end of six months or every year, you are so, or every month, as per agreed terms between the two oil companies, they will do the reconciliation, netting, settlement, everything. Okay, this is the broad uh, exchanges, how it works. Broad this one, this same thing we got seen yesterday. Now, <coughs> we do that in the system as told yesterday. I think I will use the same, I am yet to get the ID for me, I don't know, then I will get. I am using Prasthan's ID. I will show you an existing exchange exchange agreement. Sales <coughs> <coughs> document. Andra. Nine zero zero six is the customer vendor is 57 Now, so, Mugan, we will be creating a... Okay. Now, I took it just for sample purpose. Okay, okay. How it is there. I am going to create it now. Okay. Now, we will create a new customer, new vendor and go after that. We create a new customer. I think they were, what is the account group they were using? So, actually, 9006. Okay, and you only. I'm creating a customer master. Same account group I will use. Our company code is GIL, sales organization GNSO, distribution channel G1, division G1. <coughs> I will take this as reference customer so that I can minimize my data entry. Okay. So, I am going to create the customer now. Continue. I think the one is the customer description. Make it simple. Yes. Taxation, I will say taxable.
David. So customer number is nine zero 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 three one. Let one vendor also. First, I will show you the vendor XK03 57. I think Jeeper may be the purchase organization. Yes. The same thing I will take and create a vendor master now. Similar to that. XK01 creating vendor master. Seven G per test one that for two one. Whatever we know, we can do. I think we can leave it. Save. Yes, I want to save. 92 it says. 92, vendor number 92. So, I created a customer and a vendor. How to link them? For linking, either you go to go to customer master give vendor number or go to vendor master and give customer number. I will go to customer master xd02. This is our customer. And our number. Go to general data. Control data. What is our vendor? 92. Yes. I will save it. Now in the customer master I have given vendor number 92. Now how do I confirm that it has linked automatically? Now I go to vendor master. See that. Give the customer number 900031. It has come here automatically. So we got done the first step. Murugan. Linking Murugan. customer and vendor. Yeah. Murugan, are you able to hear me? Yes, madam. Yeah, can can you speak little near to the speaker? I'm little having tough time to. Okay, okay, madam. Yeah, no, it's better, yeah. So we got done linking process, customer and vendor. Uh, Murugan. Yes. Okay, can you show in uh, vendor master uh, where is the customer number coming? Go to vendor master. Yeah. Enter. Go to control data. Here you see the customer number is coming automatically. Nine zero 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 three one. Okay. So okay. any one place you put, other place it is linked. Okay. The next step is exchange agreement, sales contract and the purchase contract. 
this you can do in two ways. Either first you can create sales contract, purchase contract, and then create exchange agreement, or create exchange agreement and create sales contract and purchase contract. <coughs> I will go generally the second way is used. I will go after the second way. What three of an exchange agreement? Transaction to create the exchange agreement, O301. If you don't know that, what you can do, go to logistics, exchanges. Okay, customer vendor, right? Exchange operations. Here, exchange agreement. Here, you see the transaction codes. O301 for creating exchange agreement. O302 for changing exchange agreement. O303 for displaying exchange agreement. First, I will create one exchange agreement. I think one of you have to do the hands on for the creating the exchange agreement after as soon as I complete that. So O301 double click. Here you see various options are there for exchange type. What are the options? Borrow loan, buy sell, borrow loan regular, borrow loan unlimited. Buy sell regular, buy sell unlimited, like that it is here. Now, these are all various types. If you see broadly, there are two types, borrow loan and buy sell. What is borrow loan? Borrow loan means the both the companies, they are into quantity terms. What does it mean? At the time of uh, building or reconciliation, how it happens is using borrow loan logic. Suppose sell and BP is enter, enter into the agreement. Sell has taken 10, 000, 10 million diesel from BP. And BP has taken 9 million liters diesel from sell. Now BP has to give back. Sell has taken 10, BP has taken 9, the extra 1 million okay, need to be given back or settled. So if we settle that uh, 1 million as the product that is called borrow loan. Borrow loan is something but you are not bothered about the value of the product. You go take on 10 liter, I will give you the 10 liter. That's it. I take on from you 100 liter, I will give you the 100 liter. That is called borrow loan. Buy sell means value will come into the picture. I go take on from you 100 liters of diesel. Okay. 100 liters of diesel I am, I don't want to give. 100 liter value diesel is maybe 500 dollars. You please take 500 dollars from me. So when the value for the product is sustained, then buy sell is coming to the picture. Okay. So that and all is being dealt by the accounting people at the time of settlement and other things. But at the time of creation, we need to know which type to choose. Generally, we use for borrow loan, and we have to after that. Again, in that there is a subdivision called regular and unlimited. Regular, unlimited means unlimited means in the agreement. Whenever the other party wants the product, whatever may be the quantity, they can come and take. That is unlimited. The regular means it is not like that. Only the monthly quota. If the if the agreement is say for one lakh twenty thousand liters say, per year, every month you can take only twelve thousand liters. So regular is structured one. Schedules are structured. Unlimited means it is unstructured. So that is the difference. Is it clear what is borrow loan buy sell concept? Okay. And exchange partner number always equal to give under number. In our case, 92. Press enter. What is this exchange status? Exchange status means 
where this agree exchange agreement is open or closed, all those things are forms part of exchange status. Okay. Evergreen type means whether it is regular or unlimited. I am not using anything now. Now starting date of this agreement, today date by default. If you want to put any other date, you can do. Closing date means these agreements are made generally made minimum one year. It can go up to three years generally. Okay. Before closing this, you want to periodically review this agreement. Maybe every six months or one year you want to review this agreement along with your partner. Maybe that is the terms and conditions in the agreement. So you can put a review date also here. And the notice period, what is the notice period? If you want to close the agreement earlier than the closing date, you are supposed to inform the other party. Right? It is similar to our rental agreement. Some days before. So what that is called notice period. Okay. These are all the sub based products uh, okay, we need not know now. Quantity schedule breakdown is that's what I told. If it is regular we go we can break down monthly all uh, those things. What is the posting rules I will say later. But this is some idea you will get. Now I will save this agreement. It is asking for your closing date. I will give you a closing date. I will give it one year. Save it. Yeah. Now see the system. It gets saved. Eh? At the bottom you see there is a message. Exchange 100073 has been created. Now, along with that the saving, you see there are two tabs have come additionally, sales contract and the purchase contract. In this exchange agreement itself, you can enter the sales contract and purchase contract address. If you already have sales contract created by you, you can just click this plus button and uh, add that sales contract number. I have not yet created. So what I will do? I can go to this create tab. Create contract. Create it from this screen itself. That is possible in ISIL. Okay. Create it. Generally I give CQ as the document. Okay. See the system is taking automatically the sold to party. Why? Because we are creating from the exchange agreement. Same material I will take. I will take 5000 liters. Now here, take the line item. See at the bottom row, you see there is some extra item here that is called fees. Fees means each company enter into the exchange agreement that is a basic thumb rule, both the companies, exchange arrangement. But each of them they need to charge, it is a practice to charge some fees in the oil industry, the other company, not the price. Fees is not the price. Okay. Because they are storing the product and then loading and sending to other car company. There is some manpower is involved in that. There is some electricity bill is involved. If they are running diesel generator, some diesel generator charges are involved. Some miscellaneous expenses are involved. All these things are there. For that they put a nominal fees. It is not a price, okay? Don't confuse with the price. 
each company charge the other company. It depends on the volume handled, the cost of the terminal, all those things, cost of handling and all those things. Okay. So that you can put it here, please. So for example, if I want here anything. Location piece, picture piece, throughput piece, so many types of piece are there. Somebody has created their own piece type also. Put the piece here. Maybe three dollars or three euros, small amount it will be. That let us. Then come back. Now share this. Now the contract has been created and where it is coming and sitting automatically the exchange agreement. Same way you can go to purchase contract and create. If you already have the purchase contract, you can assign it here, otherwise you can do it here. Okay, this is how to create a exchange agreement. So, can one of you create it now once again and then I will complete the cycle later. This is the important point. Other things are same as STMM and all those things. Faisal, you want to try? Sure, sir. Yeah, because every time I uh, ask him present only. This time that it oh, is somebody. Sure. Yeah. So how so I think now are you getting control, right? Yeah. Do I have it? Okay. Good. Yeah, you are having control now. So let like, we have to double click this. Later when you are all practicing you change the exchange types and the properties on your own. Okay. All the exchange types you can change it on the properties and see how it is working. Right now you can use borrow loan only. Okay. Because you are just starting. Exchange partner if you want to use the same exchange partner. Yes, or you can create a new vendor master and create use it also, but you can use exchange here yeah, on your same one. Same, same. And when you are when you are using letter, each of you create one vendor and one customer. Uh, please uh, <coughs> use that to up that master data. Okay, yeah. So, uh, uh, what exchange number should I put, sir? Same. No, that will come automatically, no need. Not Just press enter. Okay. Now give a closing date. Closing date, sir. Uh, any date yeah. after the starting date. Is it I'm telling you? Any date after the starting yeah, date? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Like after um, 25th. Yeah, press enter. Yeah. Uh, save this agreement. Mm -hmm. Save, save, save button. Yeah. Yeah, now it has been saved. What is your exchange number? 100074. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you create a sales contract. Come down. Yes, sir. 
last row you come down create contract button is there uh, let it change it next to that uh, uh, same thing yeah I'm tired yeah, shift to party you give same as shift to party uh -huh. so shift to party will be like the same or same same nine triple zero three one see ya it is already there right yeah triple zero three one enter yeah. see the valid from value to dates which you normally give is yeah, moving yeah. automatically few number you can give yeah yeah okay oh. enter give the material yeah material will be what should i put regular zero zero same material you can give yeah target quality 5000 okay yeah, enter I select the line item. Select the what? Select, select the line item. Line item 10. Regular 00, zero is there, right? That line you go to click in the left side. I start. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here yeah. you go to click. Yeah. yeah now yeah. I go select it. Okay. At the last row there is a icon called a piece. You go to click that. This one? Peace, 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 peace. Yes. Yeah, 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 peace, peace. Yeah. So choose the options here. Mm -hmm. So yellow, CN or anything you can use. Whatever is applicable. Put yellow, CN, location, piece. So here? Yeah. L, oh, CN, yeah. And then amount you give maybe one or two dollars. Two dollars. Anything small amount. Press enter. Back, back button. Second row from the top back button. Yes. And I'll save this. And now you created an exchange agreement with your sales contract. Okay. Same way we can do purchase contract also. I will show that uh, later with, from my this one. Just to show how it is working. Okay. I will remove your control. Sure, sure. Thank you. Uh, anybody else want to practice creating exchange agreement? Or shall I go ahead? So while doing this, I will simultaneously prepare your assignment also. Any doubts, anything, what he has created? Prasant, are you okay? Smitha? Yeah, I'm okay. <coughs> Prasant, are you okay? Yes, Murugan, I'm okay. Alendra? So this is important part in exchanges. All other things are being taken care by somebody else. Anybody else wants to practice that or I will go ahead. Okay. Okay. 
I think I will go ahead if the time permits. At the end of my this one discussion, I will ask somebody else to do that same thing. Let us see. Let me complete okay. the short burst. Let me see. If the time permits, then one more person can do that exchange agreement creation. Yes, yeah, time permits, That's I can do it. Yeah. Okay. Now I will take my this one. What I have created here. One zero 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 seven three. See, you see, I created exchange agreement. I created the sales contract. Now, how to do the purchase contract assignment? Click on purchase contract tab. Click on assign. Not assignment. We don't know that. We can create it. So, what is the agreement type? Standard is MK. Purchasing group, I think GPU something is there. Yes, right. Same material. Regular hyphen zero zero. Okay. Now net order price, we can give some random price. Select the line item. Here, PC is then the top row. Similar to sales, for purchase is also PC supplied. Fixed fees. Location fees. Save. Two three six. It says contract. So this purchase contract, this it has come here automatically. Now I created a sales contract, purchase contract, and it has been assigned automatically to the system, to the exchange agreement. So the second step also over now. When you are practicing, either one you can create and then practice. Then I will do one process, sales process, and show to you how it is working. And the reconciliation netting is part of accounting department. I will just share that concept. How to do the sales process? I go sales contract. From that, whenever the customer or that other party needs the product, I can do sales. How to do that? Same process, same steps what you did in last time. Create the sales order. Is that agile? But here you create with a reference. Here your reference is contract. The contract. Copy. So out of five thousand. Maybe he is taking here 500 liters now. The PO number not needed, but still it is asking. Here you see in the sales order now. You see the fees button here. This you will not see in the normal this one. Okay, normal sales order. 
only the sales orders which are getting created from exchanges, you will see the fees. That is how you know whether this sales order is from exchanges or not. And also here you see the exchange number is appearing automatically, 100073. So this differentiates the, this sales order from other sales orders. Let's save this. GSH1 plant GP01. Murugan, what data is going to be there in the fees uh, section? Fees, whatever fees we mentioned in the earlier agreement, that will be same thing will be copied here. Okay. Send type I need not know. I will put uh, handling type. Yes, document is complete. I will save it now. One one six seven. I will order. Has been saved. So we created a sales order. And the steps. One one six seven. <laughs> then what is the next step in the sales process? Creating delivery. A zero onion. Yes, get one. Fifteen. Yes, and type. First goods is you. Okay, 2015-1, one, I think two period is not yet open. So I will put that uh, date. I will put the earlier month date for one. First good issue. Yeah, 2015 one, right? It is not taking. Okay. Okay. Actual good moment date. Now delivery has been created. Delivery. Then billing. So I created the building.
Now I completed the sale cycle. Similar way we can complete the purchase cycle also. So at the end of sales and purchase, maybe at the end of the year, these two parties sit down and they do the adjustments, reconciliation, everything, and then they do netting. Netting means uh, adjustment, final adjustment. Create the separate document to do that. As part of both the company's accounting team, they sit together and do. They create the netting document using your three A seven, all those things. And as I told yesterday regarding the if there is some inventory mismatch between the both the companies then they do adjust using logical inventory adjustment uh, document and for reconciliation they either have custom reports or this report reports okay So they go through this, they create various reports. Based on this, the reconciliation is being done. So what happens every six months once, both the company's accounting people meet, or every one year once at least minimum, they do the reconciliation part. And then at the end of the reconciliation, they agree who has to do to whom. For that, they create a netting document and close it. By closing, closing they do by creating account payable and account receivable entries in the accounting. Okay. So those things are being taken care of by accounting, but still we need to know the steps. Okay. Any doubt so far? Okay. Now I will show some configurations relevant for this. Change this. For transactions, exchange types, we see the exchange types are there, right? Visa, borrow, loan, buy, sell and all those things. Those borrow, loan, buy, sell are basic types. You can show your own types, whatever it is may be. Buy, sell. These settings are here. Borrow, loan, what is the evergreen type? what is material posting, what is fee splitting, what is the state criteria, everything. So these things, what you can do, you can see in the uh, exchange agreement. I will show that again now. Regarding fee handling, you can create separate fees types. Sales fees, purchase fees. Okay. Fees are nothing but your condition types. We seen one piece type called location, LOCN. You see there. The account determination, it is done automatically. Okay. Now, if you see this uh, exchange agreement, what I was discussing with you, 03A2, if I go to the latest to this one, or other this one, here, 
quantity schedule breakdown, quantity split, schedule split is if bit is evergreen type is regular, then this one we have a split here. That time we can split it based on this in the agreement. So what I will do, I will create just now one more con one more agreement. I will show you how that splitting happens. Uh, here evergreen type I will make it regular or regular I will make it. Okay. Does not allow this quantity schedule setting. Split quantity according to equally according to periods. Okay. No, uh, I think I made it here itself. So, Murugan, uh, what are you trying to show here? I am trying to show one more type, exchange type, how it is working. Okay. Same way you need to practice here. Various types are there, right? I created one type, borrow loan. Same way you have to choose other types and practice. So just I am trying to create one more type, that's it. Okay. Now we save it. See here, because I have put regular, some things have come here, quantity schedule. Now if I create the sales contract, Put the filling plan. Yes. Save it. Yes. Now this is your contract. Display the contract. Go there. Double click on the contract. Okay. Schedule lines. Here you can see the quantity split. Okay, actually this quantity split in this case it will come at the sales order time, so you are not seeing anything here. But this is a screen to see that if it is coming or not. So what I am stressing the point is at your time when you are creating the exchange agreement, there are various options are there. Apart from borrow loan and buy sell, you try to explore all the options. Okay, make your number of options. That is the point. Okay. So, okay. So this is the this one cycle. So I will repeat once again the steps. What is that? You need to create customer master, vendor master, link them, create exchange agreement by linking sales contract, purchase contract, complete sales process, purchase process, reconciliation, netting settlement is also part of exchange activity which will be taken care by the accounting people. That is the thing. I think I got another 5 minutes time left out. 
I think I, I would like somebody to create the exchange agreement once again. Uh, Murugan, I think Sumit. Uh, say uh, if we created the sales uh, process, sales order delivery and uh, invoice. So in uh, in uh, in the purchase uh, side, so you have a uh, So what are the main steps? From purchase contract, you have to create yeah. a purchase order. Yeah, which is uh, me twenty one yen. Okay. okay. Then goods received. What is the goods received? Migo. M I G O. Migo. Okay. Then invoice received. Miro. These three steps you need to do there. Okay. And uh, so the, the, they they both are independent, right? They say for example no adjustment will be done on uh, the sales versus the purchase thing. No, no adjustments. Both are independent. They will take their own process. Only the accounting department people who are sitting at the end of six months or the end of the year, they will take both the things into account and then do reconciliation. That is only for uh, account accounting perspective. Otherwise, from the process perspective, both are independent. Okay. Smita, are you ready? Uh, yeah, I can try to do. Yeah, at least just the exchange agreement part you can try. Yeah. Press enter. Yeah. You can give you a closing date, review date, notice period, all these things you can give. Yeah. Review date also if you want you can give. Review date has to be after starting date before closing date. Now you are giving review date, okay, yes. Notice period you can give. Yes. Enter. Now, just a minute. You see. Oh. Sorry. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. You have to help me. Enter, enter. Press enter button. Same thing. CQ is okay. Give the shift to party. Nine zero 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 three one shift to party. Give your random PO number. PO number. Sorry. Enter. Yeah, here you can give your random PO number. Enter. No, don't save it. Give the material. Close it. Now you use the same material, regular zero zero. That for that material only you go all the settings ready. Other material you use, you'll get some error. Delete it, yeah. Regular zero zero, yeah. Target quantity, <coughs> any quantity, yeah. Uh, yeah. Enter, enter. Let's select the line item. Fees button at the last row, you see the fees, right? Yeah, yellow CN can give the fees type, fees condition type, that is. Amount.
No, no, not that much. That will not be the location fees. One dollar, two dollar, three dollar, like that will be good. Up to five dollar fee can do. Location fees will always be a very small quantity. Yeah, second row from the top, you use the back button. Back, back, save data. Okay, okay, no problem. <coughs> I think your quantity contract has been saved. We created an exchange. Now, one more point I wanted to show here is while she was creating. Here you see the posting rules. There is a tab called posting rule. Material internal fees, external taxes, external. What is material means? Material means material value. You 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 got valuation type, and the material is having some value, right? Uh, after the cost accounting, that value whether it is posted internally or externally. Internally means to our oil company. Externally means the partner. Suppose sell we are we are representing sell. Internal means it will post to sell. External means it will post to BP. And the fee same way fee. Fees who will pay? Though fees we are calculating, sometimes we may observe, though but generally we will put other party to pay it. That is called external. Taxes generally it is external. Somebody else pays. Though we are, it is between the oil companies. Government will not sit idle. They will tell you pay me the tax, whatever you do. They may put some taxes on this. They put the throw put tax or whatever may be that. Okay. So these are all called posting rules. These posting rules have been set in the configuration for this exchange type itself. Those things are coming here automatically. Do it is coming automatically. You can change them manually here. You can make it external. You can make this internal. You can make this entire anything. Okay. So that is it regarding that other part. Now I will send you the assignment after this session. Uh, please uh, work on the assignment and uh, reply to me. We will discuss the assignment part tomorrow. Uh, any other issues, any other doubts, you can ask me now. I think Pfizer has created today. Is the exchange topic uh, complete? Yeah, exchange is complete. Okay, so tomorrow if you are doing the next uh, section, can you send the materials for that program? Yes, sure. I will send that. Yeah. I will send it after this session. Exchange, anybody did not get the material? Everybody got the material? Murugan. Okay. Ah. Friday I will not be able to attend the class. So, is there a way you can postpone it or, or you guys can go ahead? Yeah, well, I, I would suggest. I, I don't have any will on my own. Yes, it is after the collective decision of the students. That's it. Yeah. So uh, I I cannot make it. Uh, you please talk to your uh, friends here in this session itself. Uh, um, Murugan, uh, I propose that we we ca we cancel Friday. Yes, sir. Because yes, sir. even uh, even our family members are also waiting uh, for the. Friday for the means your Friday or my Friday? You are telling. No, it is uh, our Friday, which is Saturday morning for you. Okay, okay. Okay, yes, sir, no problem. Uh, sir, I won't be able to attend Friday also. So yeah, you can cancel it. Yes, yes. So not only Saturday, then Sunday also, because Sunday is holiday for me. Okay. I mean, you are Saturday. Okay. Your <coughs> Friday and Saturday, there will be no sessions. Okay. So that is the plan. So, so are you going to have a session on Sunday? That is Monday your time. And tomorrow we go session, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to verify well in advance, yeah.
Yeah, yeah. No, sir. Smita, we'll have the next session uh, on uh, on uh, um, Monday night for us, which is Tuesday morning for him. I am okay. I, I already told you this. Okay, you are for two days. Sir. Tomorrow we'll have a session, okay. and then next will be Monday. Right. You are Monday. Yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow and then next will be Monday. Yeah. Yes, that is the plan. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Okay, I, am, I need to send you the next topic material and then this uh, exchanges assignment for all of you that is pending for me. I will do that I in few minutes time. Okay. okay. Okay, thank you everybody. I am logging off. Thank you everybody. Thank you. Please uh, stop your recordings then log off. Yeah.